Welcome back to A-Game Adventures, as we have our second stop in Florida, and we are craving some magic, so here we go, pass underneath that beautiful blue arch. Welcome to Walt Disney World, and we are going to be experiencing Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. So we, we finally made it to Fort Wilderness, and we're all set up, and it stopped raining. So we're going for a little walk now. We took the golf cart out and went to the meadows which is pretty cool because it's got a lot going on here. It's got the fishing and the bike barn is over here. So you can get your bikes if you want to rent bikes or anything else you need. It's got a nice little lake to fish in. The trading post is over there. And it's got some outdoor stuff for the kids to do, like the gem flying, connect four, checkers, and of course the meadows pool, which we'll get over to that in a little bit. So the splash pad is finally finished, and it looks wonderful. And the girls are going to enjoy that a lot. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Sit down. All right, you got your legs out. Go. All right, next one. We just finished swimming, and as we came back, they had the archery stuff set up, which was pretty cool. Nice little thing that kids can do. They got a lot here at the fort that kids can do. I'm sure every Disney resort does. I know the Polynesian did and Fort Wilderness did, but there just seems to be a lot extra here that some of the other resorts didn't have. But we're gonna go back, take a little break and see what we get into tonight before the hoop de doo One really nice food offering that Fort Wilderness has is they have food trucks and they change sometimes. Um, some of them are more regulars, um, but you have to, we stalked the Facebook group to see what was going to be there which day. Everything was really good. The crepe truck was absolutely fantastic. Here had a Nutella crepe that was absolutely to die for. And right there is the trading post. We went there for souvenirs as well as our every other day milk run. And then right across from that, we have a wonderful playground that our girls thoroughly enjoyed playing at, especially while we waited for our food to be done from the food trucks. They also have picnic tables there, which is a nice touch. Plus, this is where the carriage stops. We did a lot of sightseeing of the Fort Wilderness Campground before it was our time to go in the hoop do review. And when we finally got to go in, uh, we expected it to be fun, but it really was above what we imagined. It was a lot of interactive singing the girls loved it it was a whole experience it's like american folktale songs the food was okay uh it's just you know your regular chicken uh roasted chicken uh it was it was good but it was the experience that was just phenomenal The next day we decided we were just gonna float around Disney to the different properties and see what we could get into. The Figment Bus. The gondola! Also known as the Skyliner. No, we're just in. very worried about the flower. I got it. It was super hot while we were down here in Disney, and luckily the Skyliner was a little bit uh, reprieve from that. It was cooler, and we got to see some really cool sights. Hi, you guys. Hi, you Right there, the gondola, me and the poo. 
And Tigger too. Tigger too. We made a little bit of a game on the gondola to just find different characters that the girls like because they were getting a little bit impatient. So, change of plans. Uh, it was a really far walk from Hollywood Studios to Fantasia, and it's very hot out. So, we just decided to ride the Skyliner around and get off at the boardwalk and walk around a little bit and see what we can get into. And we are going right over okay. Ratatouille. And friends. And friends. Yeah. It's kind of really cool. Yeah. Do we have to get off? Yes, I think we will be getting off here. And then we'll have to get back on. Nope. What? Coming in hot. Can we do that at no, see, we don't have tickets to get stuck. Yeah. So we're going by the boardwalk. Yep. Yeah. The beach club. And their pool is really cool. And their slide actually starts outside across the walkway here and goes the whole way over to their pool. We bounced around the boardwalk for a little bit, but it just ended up being way too hot, so we decided to go back to the campground and find a pool. So the Meadows uh, is super crowded as a pool, and sometimes Marley doesn't like that many people. So we came to the Wilderness Pool, which is really kind of a nice, quiet place. Um, there's not a whole lot of people here, and it's a weekend. It's got a little hot tub. Um, doesn't really have much of anything else besides a pool and a hot tub, but it works and it'll let her have some fun without having to worry about other people getting very close to her and making her nervous. Um, so we'll go play here for a little bit and then probably head over to the big pool so Tegan can do the slides and the splash zone. After we were done splashing around the pool, we decided to jump in the golf cart and take part of what ended up be, being a really fun pastime, and it was just a scavenger hunt. It's where people around the campground just hide things. They post them on Facebook, and you ride around in the golf cart and try to find them. We hit a bunch of our ornaments that we took, and we found a bunch that other people hid. Hold on to your cupcakes. I got my cupcake. Yummy cupcakes. I don't do Fort had so much extra things to offer. I know all the uh, resorts do this, but we decided to take the time and do the Mickey Mouse tie-dye, and it was a lot of fun. They had cast members there helping us each step of the way, and it was already pre-tied. We just bought the shirts, and they set out everything for us, and we did it right there. Marley, at this point in time, was probably too young, to do this as you can see the gloves don't even really fit her hands but she has probably worn this tie-dye shirt more than anybody else in the family she loves it and it's one of uh her favorite souvenirs from this trip so we were reading last week when we got here that a new baby foal was just born. And I'm not sure if it's the white one there, but it definitely looks like the one they posted on Facebook that was just born. But I don't know if about, enough about horses to tell you whether or not that's the one that was just born or not. But those are pretty tiny ones there. And the girls are enjoying looking at them. So this is the uh, Tri Circle D Ranch with the trail rides. Um, we didn't do it because our girls are too young, but it sounds really, really cool if your kids are old enough that's something they were into. We did get to see a lot of the carriage rides going through the fort, which the girls thought seeing the horses that way was super awesome.
jumping rope, Marley. So we are doing the scavenger hunt again. And this time we decided to just set up a table and have people come to us because we had a lot of ornaments um, still to give away. We are down to two, so that's exciting. And a lot of people brought gifts for the girls when they came to pick up their ornaments. So that's really cool. They've been super excited. Hope you like my lay and my ears. Uh, I got, they were given to the girls, but I borrowed them for now. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. Met a lot of people. And it really, Kira said it was talking about it earlier. And it really, it's a different kind of magic here. The magic's brought a lot more by the campers than by the staff. And, and that's not saying the staff hasn't been wonderful because they absolutely have. But the campers have been wonderful too. And it's really been a step up um, in a way we didn't expect. Goobers. What are, you doing? what are you doing under the table, Mabels? <laughs> We're fixing. Put your hand on that. Put your hand on <laughs> Daddy, look at this. Put your hand on Put your hand no, on No, you, you, like, give me a high five. No. Like. No, I'm not giving you a hard five. <laughs> like this, and then. You're going to try to hit my hand? No. Get out of here. If you have kids and want to do a character breakfast, I highly suggest Topolinas. We ate there, the food was phenomenal, the characters were great, the girls were really into it, and I mean, I had filet for breakfast. What's better than that? Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting Sorry. flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot International Gateway. That's a great question. It's been raining every day. We are now day. gliding over Hourglass Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. I think she's done. Maybe? Maybe. All right. So. We were just at Topolino's Terrence at Riverside. Our, Riverside Riviera. Yeah. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah. We saw four of the Fab Five. We yes. saw Mickey, Donald, Daisy, and Minnie. Yes. And which, their artist yes. outfits. Yep. So it was pretty cool. They were wonderful. It was really well done. The characters did amazing. Yes. Minnie even got hugs. From Marley. Yeah, Miss Marley over there finally came out of her shell a little bit towards the end, which was good to see. And we saw food, all the characters twice. Yeah, we did see all the characters twice. The food was amazing. Um, we're just kind of hopping around on the Skyliner again because there's some resorts we didn't get to see last time, and we want to go over the Swan and Dolphin because we wanted to play something. In just a few moments, um, we will be arriving. But it just started to downpour yet again. Uh, we got washed out yesterday, so really hoping we don't get washed out again today because neither of those days was supposed to have much rain. But hey, it's Florida. And it Wait. didn't rain when we were actually in Magic Kingdom yep. until we, it was time to leave, so. We'll take and what we get. And me and Daddy almost got soaked. Oh, on the way out it and rained. And we stayed. There, we did two extra rides. Yeah, we did. Mommy and Marley. We went back. So. Yeah. yeah. Marley was done. Yeah. All done. So, we'll see uh, how this ring goes and what we get into based off of that. Bye. Oh, hang on, it's rolling. Yeah. Ready? Get your hands right. Ready? Fire. Good job. Great. Hit it again. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Marley. See, look where you're aiming. You're gonna put it in the corner.
Good job. Marley, no, put my ball down, please. Thank you. It's a roving ball. obstacle course. <laughs> Hit it hard. Good job. Watch, Watch out, out Marley. Whoa, the praise music. <gasps> All right, Mommy, why don't you go? Oh, Mars wants to go. Can I help you hit it hard enough, Mars? Did oh. you see that? That was awesome. Can you do it together? Okay, ready? Hey. Okay. Ready? Hey. Okay. Ready? Hey. Line it up, T. Daddy, I almost got a hole in one. Yeah, you did. It's okay, it should go through. I'm not sure. I there, it's over there, Mars. Good job. That might be the play. Go ahead, Mommy. Wait, somebody have my ball? I do. Okay. Wow, oh, Marley got a hole in two. Good job, Marley. Got a hole in two. Good job, Marley. Put it near it, hit it in. I almost made my hole in one. I almost made a hole in one on this Good one. job. Hey, oh, he's back there struggling. Hey, hey, that was my first attempt. Hello. Second attempt. Woo. Watch out, Marley. Hole in one. Hole in one. Hole in three. Hole in one, one and a half. Three. Is it going in? Oh. See, oh, oh, oh. oh, your turn. Mommy, I got the win. It's almost like you can go hit it all the way in if you want yeah, to. Yeah, go hit it in. Hurry up. Oh, you can't help me. Yeah, Hold I can we gotta, we gotta hit ours. Let's see no. go. Let's see what Tiggy does. Oh, that had a good curve, too. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, good try, Tia. That's not the way you have to go. Maybe, I don't know. All right, girls, can you move so that you can hit? It's down there. Oh, no, it curved to the left. Might bounce. I didn't hit it hard enough. It's pretend, it's pretend. It's pretend. Okay, now I don't want to go over there. Oh, it's just pretend. Oh! Oh, you almost had another oh. semi hole well, real hole one. Scared the girls good. It's okay, girls. Come here. Oh, I'm here. We interrupt this high stakes mini golf game for a heron that has a frog. Stand by. Hit it pretty good up in there. Did it go in the hole? Yep. Fantasia Gardens mini golf was a ton of fun and they had cute little things here where it just like popped up with water and surprised you. One of our absolute favorite things about staying at the fort was the scavenger hunt. People post on Facebook and we just rode around looking for things on the golf cart. There's T getting her cup and she was so beyond excited. 
Marley and her daddy chased down to get the float. I raced a seven-year-old for the K-pop, and I obviously won. I wasn't afraid to throw hips. Just kidding, maybe. And it was a blast. People were so kind. They would bring the girls things. We were giving away magnets and 3D prints and things like that. We ended our night getting some ices and watching the sunset. And tomorrow's our last day in Orlando, so we decided let's go explore what else Orlando has to offer. And I'm really excited. Florida has so much to offer. You got Universal, you got Disney, you got the Gulf, you got all these beautiful beaches, but you also have these awesome springs that people just completely forget about. We are at Blue Spring. And there's not many people here. We got here about 10 minutes early, 7.50. Gates opened at 8. There was a line outside. It's Tuesday. But it is a Tuesday, so not, <laughs> not super busy. And we're hoping to see... Anything. Anything. Some fishies, preferably. Nothing that's going to chop us would be preferred. But should be a good time. And we're gonna walk the boardwalk right now, and we'll get into the water a little bit later, probably. A manatee hot tub. Ooh, there's a big uh, Florida gar. See him right there? He's got a big uh, snout nose. Mm-hmm. Looks like a stick. Yeah. There's a couple of them in there. Turtle! You see the turtle one? Oh, it's down there. What's the knot? Yeah. There's a turtle on the bench over there. You get the sheer turtle in there? And then one more. Baby. Baby. Oh. Baby turtle. Oh. That baby turtle. Oh, there's a big turtle. Mommy and Daddy. Yeah. The Thursby House, which was the first permanent residence in about 1850s on Blue Spring. Springs like this animals love in the winter because the water is always the same temperature. How's the water? They're crazy. It's freezing. Help. It's freezing. Freezing might have been a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's in the 70s, and that to me is absolutely too cold to go swimming. The girls didn't mind, Kira didn't mind, the water was beautiful, but uh, yeah. So for this spring, you get in right there at the stairs, and you kind of wait upstream in the winter uh, around March-ish. There's manatees and all kinds of different animals in there. Uh, when we were here, it's mostly just fish, but it's still pretty cool to get in and go upstream and find the actual spring. So the current's pretty strong. The closer we're getting to uh, where a lot of the springs are coming out. Um, 
hole where the ah, water comes out from the bottom, from underground, and it's filling up this whole area. It's getting warmer, yep. I am ready to dive. Let's go. A little note for uh, next time for myself and you know anybody watching, but six-year-old's goggles probably not the best choice to try to dive down and see actually see things in a spring with. So you may want to bring a mask uh, and explore a little bit more than what we did because uh, we are a little limited with our goggles and lack of fins. Marley, how's the water? Is the water cold? Yeah. Hell. Don't forget your water shoes. Don't forget them. Yeah. Flippers bloke. That's why I got about? new shoes. My flippers perfect. <laughs> Molly. Way up there. That's because Marley is all done. That's weird. And we're way back here. And take a look. You can see like Marley from like, you can see like Mommy's feet from underwater. It's that clear. Take a look. How is that? So we just stopped at Bucky's. Um. It's ginormous. It is the truck stop of dreams. And dreamers. Minus the trucks. Minus the trucks, but like it was huge. It literally was like, I don't even know what it was. They had t-shirts, they had stuffed animals, they had signs, I, I don't know. It was an experience. Um, For we, sure. We spent over $100 in buggies, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, we got some drinks, we got some snacks. Um, my bathing suit bottom doesn't work anymore, so I got a new one of those. We got an Atlas, we got some sunscreen. Nothing was overly priced, it just it just happened, but it's kind of, and of course we got a magnet. Um, but it's just funny that we spent $102 at a basically a gas station center. It is way more than a gas station. Oh, it is, very much it so. It is really cool. It was, it was really, everyone it's was super friendly. Hike. Oh yeah. If you're driving through and you need to stop, please do. It was an experience. For sure. And everything was clean. So, but yeah. Yes, it was. That was nice. A plus Bucky's. We're now a fan. Georgia! Hello! Welcome to Georgia. Bitches! Thank you for watching A Gang Adventures. We hope you join us again with our next video coming out. It'll be about Georgia as we turn north and start our way back home. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.